A house is a house for me. By Mary Ann Hoberman, illustrated by Betty Fraser. A hill is a house for an ant. An ant. A hive is a house for a bee. A hole is a house for a mole or a mouse. And a house is a house for me. I love you too, baby. A web is a house for a spider. A bird builds its nest in a tree. There is nothing so snug as a bug in a rug and a house is a house for me a coop that's a house for a chicken a sty that's a house for a soul a fold that's where sheep all gather to sleep a barn that's a house for a cow. It is also, of course, a house for a horse. A kennel's a house for a dog. A dog. A dog is a house for a flea. But when a dog strays, a flea sometimes stays. And then it may move in on me. I think those are the bed bug. Houses for rabbits are hutches. A house for a mule is a shed. A castle's house for a duchess. A duchess, what's duchess? Duchess is someone who lives in a castle. They are very rich. A bed bug beds down in a bed. Mosquitoes like mud holes or puddles. Whales need an ocean or sea. A fish or a snake may make do with a lake. But a house is a house for me. A shell is a dwelling for shellfish, for oysters and lobsters and clams. Each snail has a shell and each turtle as well, but not any lions or lambs. Lions live out in the open, monkeys live up in a tree, hippos, what happened to hippos? Hippos live down in a river. Now, what do you know about me? An igloo, a house for an Eskimo. A tipis, a house for a Cree. A Pueblos, a house for a Hopi. And a wigwam may hold a mohi. What's a mohi? This one is a mohi. A garage is a house for a car or a truck. A hunger's a house for a plane. A dock or a sleep is a house for a ship. And a terminal's house for a train. A hus is a house for a corn ear. A pod is a place for a pea. What's a pea? This one. Remember the peas? A nutshells. A nutshells. A hat for a hickory nut. What's a hickory nut? This one. Oh. But what is a shelter for me? 
A glove is a house for a hand. A hand. A stocking's a house for a knee. A shoe or a boot is a house for a foot. Remember the the words that are rhyme? Boot, foot. Those words rhyme. And a house is a house for me. A box is a house for a tea bag. A teapot is a house for some tea. If you pour me a cup and I drink it all up, then the tea house will turn into me. What are the rhyming words? Cup, up. Cartoons are houses for crackers. Crackers, look at those crackers. You ate crackers so yesterday, remember? Yes. Because when you when you try to divide them, you gonna crack. That's why they call crackers. You can easily crack. Castles are houses for kings. That's why when you drag them, you can share them. Yeah. Sharing is sharing. Caring. You can use even a scissor to cut them. Yes. The more that I think about houses, the more things are houses for things. And if you get started in thinking, I think you will find it is true. That the more that you think about houses for things, the more things are houses to you. Barrels are houses for pickles, and bottles are houses for jam. A pot is a spot for potatoes, and a sandwich is potatoes. yeah potatoes. A sandwich is home for some ham. The cookie jars home to the cookies. The bread box is home to the bread. My coat is a house for my body. My hat is a house for my head. Perhaps I have started far-fetching. Perhaps I am stretching things some. A mirror is a house for reflections. A throat is a house for a hum. But once you get started in thinking, you think and you think, and you think how pockets are houses for pennies and pens can be house for ink. How peaches are houses for peach pits and sometimes are houses for worms. How trash cans are houses for garbage and garbage makes houses for germs. And envelopes, earmuffs, and eggshells, and bathrobes, and baskets, and beans, and rug bags, and rubbers, and roasters, and tablecloths, toasters, and tins. And once you get started in thinking this way, it seems that whatever you see, is either a house or it lives in a house and a house is a house for me a book is a house for a story a rose is a house for a smell my head is a house for a secret a secret i never tell a flower is at home in a garden a donkey is at home in a stove each creature that's known has a house of its own. And the earth is a house for us all. All done.